cool. Our neighbor donated some pallets that we are going to use to make our own compost. We're going to be using greens, live foods that we don't use. You put it in one side of the container and it will compost to make your own dirt and soil for our garden. It's going to be amazing, guys. Look how cute she is. Got little homestead daughters. We all just work as a team. Look at my other cutie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're totally filming each other. Do we want to just carry that one? How many are there? Oh, there's two more. Oh, there's two more. Oh, but holy heck, I need to make sure I'm not stepping in fire ant hills. Seriously, I do not need that. If y'all have not had experience with one, two, or three little tiny fire ants, it's horrible. Getting stung by a bee is bad, but holy spiritual bucket. So this is where we're gonna make the compost at. You can never have too much fun when you're on your homestead. Literally every day is fun day. Even when it doesn't feel fun. You still make it fun. Binta is in the round pen. The donkeys have chewed it, by the way, right there. Hi, Binta. You want out? So Miss Haley was using these bags to uh, help with her training of desensitizing her because she's very scared of the bags and the sound of a bag. So we had her in this training pen to gently get her desensitized. I'll probably do a video on that someday, but right now we're working on several other things, aren't we, Binta? All right, so what is this called, the list? Pitchfork. This is a pitchfork. And what are you going to use it for? I bought you this pitchfork. It was $33 at Russell's Feed. And so. you really, really wanted it. What's it for? Uh, well, I'm using it to uh, flip my compost. So we're going to flip our compost did it with the pitchfork. Oh, what do we have in here already? Is that hay? Um, yeah, grass clippings, leaves. Horse manure. Okay, bedding. grass clippings, leaves, horse manure. And then were we going to do like any, I guess, leftover lettuce maybe from yeah. the bunnies and the guinea I did, pigs? Uh, I did put the watermelon rinds. Ooh, the watermelon rinds. Oh my gosh. The ones that the chickens ate? Yeah. It's pretty hard. Is it really going to, is that really going to mush up into mm -hmm. anything? Yeah, the bacteria will just attack it. That's pretty crazy. You know, thank goodness I don't have to throw away my watermelon oh, yeah, rinds anymore in the so trash. Also, uh, do cardboard. Oh, we can do cardboard? And this Without is all... Plastic, yeah. Okay, so when do you know that you're going to now transfer it to this side of the compost? Well, this is a two-step one, so basically that one would be for the finished compost. Like, once it's, like, dirt-looking, you put it in there so you can use it. But, okay. Um, there's also, like, a three-style one where you flip it and then flip it back into there. So, yeah. so where's the dirt? Is it going to be on the bottom or the top? Yeah, it's going to decompose at the bottom and then work its way up. Well, I, I don't know. I think it's a mix. I know. See, we're homesteaders in the learning process. Yeah. So that's what I love about this. It's all hands-on. People don't just magically know this stuff. You start and we're learning. And then this is going to be passed down to generations mm -hmm. of carols and wonderful Texan son-in-laws, <laughs> manly husbands that my daughters are going to find. Good men. And they're going to 
know how to do this stuff too. Someday my grandkitties, they're gonna know this like the back of their hand. And it's gonna be all because we had to start fresh on our own, learn it all ourselves with our neighbors, our family, my mother-in-law, she has such wisdom. My father-in-law has such wisdom. My dad has a lot of uh, experience with gardening. So he gives us tips too. Hi, Pablo. I know she's a bully. She took all the hay. Look, he's in line. You know what? I'm going to get you your own hay. Yep. Here is an update on our compost that we have been working on. As you can see, we have expanded it. Isn't this so cool? Our good neighbors brought some over to us. They donated these cute blue ones, nice Texas colors, some red ones. So we're expanding so that we can have more options of separating, um, like this is the cardboard and the horse manure that's going to be starting one. Once it starts, then she will move it over to have the dirt on this side that we can use by next spring, we're hoping. This one right here, she's got more of pine shavings, just dirt mulch from the chicken coop, some weeds and such, and she will move it over to this section. You have to keep it moist for this compost to develop. And then she's planning on making another one right here where we can do more of uh, fruits and vegetables, the rinds of the watermelon, things like that, that you can use anything really for the compost. You just can't use any meat, any dairy, any animal products other than manure because you want it to be a natural source where it's going to develop into a dirt that you can then use for your garden boxes. You know, many different things that you can use the compost for. You can compost veggie cuttings, fruit peels, eggshells, the egg cartons, coffee grounds, yard trimmings, cardboard, junk mail paper, wood shavings, tons of stuff. Thanks so much for watching guys. As you can see, we have a new horse round pen that we made. In previous videos, we had just a plain orange one. We did have to replace it because of our naughty donkeys. They like to play with it, but it's good for our horse. She's already trained. I will have an upcoming video, short video showing how we redid the round pen. Thanks so much for watching again. Don't forget to like this video. I hope it helped you, gave you some ideas on making your own compost in your backyard, in your homestead. It's really beneficial to be able to have then your own dirt for the upcoming gardening season. Dirt is expensive and you have to figure out how to haul it to your house and all that good stuff. Don't forget to comment, push the notification bell. It's going to send you either an email or a notification on your phone if you have the YouTube app telling you that we have just put out a new video.